in just a few moments. There's, uh, you are directly above the bus right now. What the f is this? There's something. Whoa, whoa, guys, right there. Right there, guys. Hi, I'm James LaFer and you're watching the Impossible Channel. Welcome aboard. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on for more videos like this. Strange and unexplained things do happen, not very often, but they do. And on rare occasions, they are captured on camera. And today, we're going to be taking a look at strange, mysterious and unexplained videos. Are you guys ready? Well, let's go. Now, I don't know if you've ever been to Las Vegas, but it is the 25th most populous city in the United States, mainly known for its gambling, shopping, fine dining, entertainment, and nightlife. But besides all of the shiny lights and entertainment that Las Vegas provides, there are quite a few mysterious things surrounding it. Just around Las Vegas, in the desert, there are hundreds of reports of people who have seen some sort of strange light in the sky. You think it's a drone? No. You think it's a kite? No. What is it? There's Kenny Veach with the M Cave, a man who supposedly found an otherworldly cave with strange feats to it and simply vanished while looking for it. And the list goes on. However, a couple of days ago, one of the strangest things yet occurred in Las Vegas. Yo, I swear there's a UFO right over Las Vegas. There's a UFO directly above the club right now. At first, what appears to be a couple of shiny lights can be seen in the sky. However, if you observe closely, this is something completely different. And what you're about to watch next will probably baffle you as it did also with a lot of people that night. Check this out. What the hell is this? Honestly, honestly, this is really strange. I mean, we're here every night. I've never seen anything like this. We're here in Vegas. I'm at Resorts World, just got off work. And it's slowly, there it is. Wow. You see that light, like a search light? This thing is huge, whatever it is floating up there. Look at that, you see the rings? What is that? I'm telling you, that's a freaking huge ship! Yo, see that? If you observe closely, the strobe lights and the lights originating from the clouds are not altogether the same lights, which was what a lot of people thought at first. Internet users also pointed out something really creepy about it, that the strobe lights from the Sapphire Club are actually being reflected off of some sort of metallic object behind the clouds. That's really This same object is most likely originating the red, yellow, and blue dots that you see here behind the clouds. So whatever's going on here, many people came to the conclusion that most likely there's some sort of invisible object hiding behind those clouds. Hothead Bread recorded many other videos, and this, for instance, is one of them. I mean, that's unmistakable, that. There is something in the sky. It's red in the middle. 
there's these two white lights over here. There's a, some other lights right there. And then it's so weird the way that our lights shine up in the sky. After recording this bizarre phenomenon for a while, Hot Hat Bread and the people around him notice how this thing, whatever it is, appears to shift. Check this out. We work there. I've never seen anything like this. You see that? What's above us? Yeah. Those lights? Like what the red the... and the white? Did you take a picture of it? Yeah, we're maybe even videoing it for like a half hour. It's just silly now. It's so weird. And it's not. And, it, and it, look at the our lights right here that are spinning around uh -huh. are shining a reflection. Awesome, look at right? yeah, look there's a white like right there. You see that? There is a what, right near the red. Right. Now. I see it. Right oh now. my god. <laughs> Whatever this thing is, you can clearly observe that from time to time, this thing shifts, and its position, lights, and everything else are in different places. Hey, what do you think it is? <laughs> are you sure? Because look how long those look, streaks are getting. Yeah, look, look, you see that light when the yeah. light blinks? Yeah, look, it blinks. Watch, watch it blink, watch it blink. Bam, it blinks. Look at the is that? That is weird. It blinks. Now to make this strange phenomenon even stranger, is the fact that many internet users left comments saying that they saw something really similar a couple of days ago or months ago. So whatever this thing is, it apparently isn't the first time it shows itself. In your opinion, do you think this is just strobe lights or some sort of party lights in the sky? Or is it maybe something else entirely? What's your take? Now, I don't know about you, but sometimes I like to sit down and watch a good movie, which is, in my opinion, nowadays very rare to find. So last week, what I did is I opened Netflix and I was surprised to see a movie by the name of Troll being featured there. At first, I thought it would be a bad movie and then I started watching it and I was surprised. It wasn't that bad. Anyways, the movie focuses on a giant, a giant that was dormant inside of a mountain until a company came along, tried to make a tunnel through the mountain and ended up waking this giant up. I'm not going to tell you guys the rest of the movie. The thing is, the movie focuses on these myths and tales of giants, which are supposedly just a myth. However, in the not so distant past of ours, there are several depictions and tales of such giants walking amongst humans. If you take a look at ancient hieroglyphs, there are a bunch of them, and many other cultures also depict such humanoid beings coexisting with humans. Now, this has never been proven, but the topic and the fact that if they did or not exist is still today a really big mystery. Now let's fast forward to today. This is where things get really strange. In the past couple of months, there have been several videos of people that by chance captured what appears to be a giant humanoid creature on camera. The most recent video was captured by Daylove Dexter in a city by the name of La Blanca in Mexico. And this is what he saw. What appears to be a giant humanoid creature can be seen walking on top of that mountain. It's walking really quick and it seems to be really big compared to the size of those houses up there. So whatever's going on here it could just be a regular human being and because of some sort of illusion it looks way much bigger or it could be something else entirely. But this isn't the first time such thing occurs and is actually recorded on camera. In another video previously featured on my channel, 
El Domador de Sumisas, also in Mexico, was driving his car when he all of a sudden spotted what appeared to be some sort of giant figure on top of a mountain. He stopped his car and he immediately began to observe this thing and he caught it all on camera. Check this out. Ya se movió del lugar. Miren. Ya lo va caminando. Véalo, véalo. Nos invaden los gigantes. Yo veo un gigante allá arriba. ¿Qué será? If you observe closely in the video, whatever this thing is, it's moving from one side to the other, it seems to be crouching at one moment, and it seems to be really big compared to the size of the mountain and the trucks that are passing by. But there is more. In a video posted by Kiara Var, you can see what appears to be some sort of giant creature in the background. The video is very short, and some people believe this to be some sort of reflection in her window. But I don't think this is it because it's clearly in the background. But it doesn't stop there. In another video, Caleb and his friends were using Randonautica application to explore the surroundings in his hometown. This is until it led them next to a hill. And at that time, they didn't find anything strange in that particular location, something that could explain why Randonautica took them there. This is until they saw something really strange standing on top of that hill. This is what they caught on camera. La segunda parte del video que nos trajo cómo era la aplicación. No sé si se ve, pero es un chavo. What appears to be a very tall person can be seen in the distance standing on top of that hill. Now whatever this thing is, Caleb did not get closer to it, they didn't have a good camera so it leaves us the question, is it really a tall person or is it maybe something else? But when it comes to strange videos, I guess that one of the strangest was recorded by Andrew Dawson in Canada. Person, dude. No, seriously, pull over, pull over. Andrew and a friend were driving down a road when all of a sudden he spots what appears to be a person on top of the mountain. The thing is, if you observe the size of this person or whatever this thing is, it's huge. After uploading the video to TikTok, it amassed millions of views and thousands of comments. Being that Andrew had never seen anything like that before on top of that mountain, he became obsessed with it. Do you see how far away it is? How far I have to zoom? In his next videos, Andrew continued on recording the top of the mountain in hopes of capturing this thing again, but it wasn't there anymore. And it's not even there anymore, too. That's where it was yesterday. I spoke to some locals and it comes and goes apparently, I don't know. What he did capture, however, was a couple of choppers actually flying around the exact location where he saw this supposed giant figure. So they're extracting something out of here. There's two helicopters. What the f Now what Andrew did was the next day he planned a trip to the top of the mountain to actually see it for himself to see if he could find more information on this mysterious giant figure. And this is what happened. Alright, I woke up actually early today. It's currently 5.30 in the morning. I'm gonna see if he's there early in the morning. Look, look at all these mountains I got. They are everywhere around here too. Alright, let's go. Later that same day, Andrew arrived on the top of the mountain, but this happened. The guy's here again. Yeah, this is, this is him. What's going on? Bro, 
it's closed. Turn around. Really? Yeah, man. Just just turn around, please. Okay. okay. Have a good night, man. So that was fucked up. There he is. I'm driving past him again. Just turned around. I don't understand why it's closed off, though. It's a public park. For some strange reason, the road to the top of the mountain is closed, and Andrew is forced to go back home. Now, this is where things get even stranger. Upon arriving home a couple of hours afterwards, he notices that maybe he's being watched by the same car that stopped him on that road. I think that's the same vehicle from... Hey! After this specific encounter, Andrew seemed worried. In his next videos, he barely talked or did anything. And this, for example, is his last video. What is that? That was not there yesterday. A couple of months after this video was uploaded, Andrew's obituary was posted in the Campbell River Mirror in July, indicating that he had passed away, which made things even stranger. Whatever happened here, to this day no one knows. If this thing that he saw on top of the mountain was really a giant, no one knows. Everything just leaves us scratching our heads. Whatever happened to Andrew? And what are these strange giant figures that people keep seeing on top of mountains all over the world? Is it maybe just camera illusion and these are normal sized people or is it maybe something else entirely? Cryptid World YouTube channel is focused on hunting and exploring the woods. And in one particular video, he went out and built a camping site deep in the woods. And he ended up capturing something really strange on camera. Check this out. Here's some crazy sound. I'm out here my back against the wall, really. Um, I've been hearing some crazy stuff out here. So I said, hell with it, come out here and record. You know, guys, I encourage anybody that has any of these encounters or you know they're in your house, record them. Like a video, guys, because, you know, you never know, man. Like, these things are smarter, too. They're, they're, they're real smart, like, real smart. So, I'm on the ground, I'm by my tree stand, where I had the encounter last time. It was right here behind that tree is where he kept pumping out before. Okay. I keep hearing these sounds. Also, guys... Cryptid World did not realize it at first, but there was something indeed big creeping from behind one of the trees, watching him silently. It didn't take long, however, before Cryptid World realized that he wasn't all alone, and this is what happens next. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Hold on. Hold on one second. Um, there's something, whoa, whoa, guys, right there, right there, guys, what the, f and it moved, it moved, should I approach it, I, I holy, f I knew it, guys, I knew this, because I had this gut feeling, man, that I was being watched when I come out earlier. And this this is a hot spot right here, guys. Right there, guys. What the f All right, all right, all right, all right. I got him, I got him, guys. I'm zoomed all the way in. He's watching me. What, guys? Oh, my God.
After realizing that there was indeed something behind a tree watching him, and not knowing exactly what this was, Cryptid World, being an experienced hunter, decided to climb one of the trees and not confront this thing. And this is what happens next. Guys, I gotta get higher ground. Hold on. Uh-uh, I can't stand out there like that. I have not got my... Where'd you go? Once he reaches the top of the tree, whatever this thing is, it's gone. He can't seem to find it anymore. Now, if we observe the video closely, it does look like this could be a very furry creature. In other words, it could be Bigfoot, but it could also be someone lurking in the woods. Whatever it is, it's creepy, and he may have captured evidence of the existence of Sasquatch, but I'm not too sure. What would you say? Strange and unexplained things aren't exactly the kind of things that happen every single day. But sometimes they do. Things like waking up from a dream where you talk to a person that you didn't see for quite a long time and all of a sudden when you wake up and you go for a stroll to the supermarket or something like that and all of a sudden that person is there. Things like for instance not being able to find your car keys that you were pretty sure you left in that exact same spot and things like thinking about an exact phrase and all of a sudden the person in front of you says that exact phrase. These kind of things do not occur every day but sometimes they do and in very rare occasions they are captured on camera. This is sort of what happens with Destiny4200. She was posting a couple of videos on Christmas Eve and in one of her videos you can see that it's snowing pretty bad. And all of a sudden, right at the end of the video, it's as if some sort of glitch occurs and there is no snow anymore. The video amassed millions of views and internet users were completely baffled by it. Some people try to explain it by saying that she just simply turned off the lights or the camera flash making the snow less visible. This actually makes sense. However, another internet user pointed something really strange. He says, Everyone is saying the light cut off. What about the street lights in the back? Make that part make sense. So either this is a legit glitch or there's something else going on here. But it doesn't stop there. Recently, a video was posted to Twitter. The source of the video is unknown. In it, a person seems to present some sort of strange object and everything indicates that this is going to be some sort of magic trick show. This is until something completely unexpected happens and what appeared to be at first a magic trick doesn't appear to be a trick anymore. Check this out. In the video, the man that appears to be dressed as an African shaman holds a very strange object in his hands and explains something about it. I'm not exactly sure what he's saying. A couple of moments afterwards, he performs some sort of ritual and then this happens. Where? Hey, go At a certain moment in the video, the object appears to be floating midair. Now at first I thought that it was hanging by a wire and so did many other internet users. This is until the man actually zooms in on the object and there is no visible wire. So what's going on here? Is this a camera trick? Is it maybe Photoshop? Or is it something else entirely? 
Now when it comes to strange glitches, it's interesting how there are many of them that occur for some reason in soccer stadiums. And it's no different in this video that was uploaded to YouTube by the fantastic Levitating Tea Factory. In the video, we can see what appears to be a person running really quick amongst all those people sitting down in the stadium. Now there's a certain moment that this person appears to actually go through a blockage of some sort like it doesn't exist. Internet users were completely baffled by this video, and to this day no one knows exactly what's going on here. Some internet users suggest that this is actually a camera that is hanging by a wire that many stadiums have. Coined a Skycam, most of the games nowadays use these cameras to record quick shots from further away. Now in this case, it could be a Skycam, however, if we zoom in in the video, we can see what appears to be two legs. In other words, this is most likely a person. And if we play the video once again in its original speed, this person seems to be running really faster than an average human being. And like I've said before, it seems to be going through all those people sitting down in the stadium. How is this happening? Is this a ghost of some sort, or is it a glitch in the matrix? But it doesn't stop there. I guess that one of the strangest glitches recorded on camera this week was captured by G Harper and her husband. This is the room, it's just full of crap at the moment, Christmas presents and everything. Um, everybody's asking me to prove that I haven't got a basement, but... I it all began when G Harper started hearing strange noises inside one of the rooms in her home. The noises sounded like someone knocking from beneath her home. The only problem is, she doesn't have a basement or an attic. After some time, she did what anyone would do and she knocked back. And this is when things started getting even stranger. This is what she got on camera. Yeah, what the f is that, babe? It's doing different amounts each time. It's like, it's not on the other side, then it's like a few. It's like is un it? underneath. They might have a basement next door, will they? After posting the first video, it amassed millions of views and thousands of comments and people were intrigued. They wanted to know more about this mysterious knock beneath her floorboard. In her second video, something strange happens. Check this out. In this video, G Harper states that she can feel the knocks coming from below her floorboard with her feet and her hands. <laughs> it's so pretty. It's vibrating it's, the floor. It's not like it's on the other side of the wood. It feels like it's maybe half a foot underneath and they're tapping something that's like if there was a brick underneath they're tapping the brick Whew, that was a strong one but it's right here it's always here in this little yeah. spot and it feels like as if there's someone knocking at about 30 centimeters below her floorboard which makes this really strange at this point a lot of her subscribers started to question if she had a basement or something like that 
And while some answered we don't have basements or crawl spaces in the UK, others believe that it could be somewhat related to a paranormal event and that she should not be knocking back. After posting about four or five videos, she answered basically all of the questions that people were intrigued about. If she had a basement. It's dependent, but we haven't got cellars or basements, have we? Not as far as I know. If she had some sort of heating problem in her home, and the list goes on. It seems that she had none of those. And this is what happens next. This is our house. This is a house, not a flat. And yeah, this is the front. It, it happens in the front room as we walk in. It sounds like it comes from underneath the floor. Obviously, I posted the initial video asking if it could be pipes. I don't understand why, like how it could be pipes because the, it was knocking at specific times and it only happens at night time. We've had it happen when the heating's on and we've had it happen when the heating isn't on. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. And not only that, the knocking sound seems to respond to her own knocks and it always happens in the same place and basically at the same time. To this day, no one knows exactly what is going on here, if this is some sort of paranormal event, a ghost, for example, or maybe something else. What's your take? Have you ever seen or heard anything similar? And what could be going on here? Every year, it is estimated that around 500 meteorites reach the surface of Earth. But less than 10 are actually recovered and this is because most fall into the ocean land in a remote area of Earth or land in places that are not easily accessible. In very rare occasions, people actually get to see these meteors falling and go after them, which was what supposedly happened in Ecuador in the year of 2020. It was as if people had found some sort of kryptonite. They saw this mysterious phenomenon in the horizon, they went after it, and they actually found what's supposed to be this strange rock. A couple of weeks ago, in South Africa, something very similar happened. A strange video of a mysterious rock began to surface the internet, social medias like TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, it was everywhere. The first video was supposedly uploaded by Tristan Solomon, and in it he says, most normal day in South Africa. Another video was then uploaded, showing the same rock, but this time at night. Then a third video was posted by Gift Makodi on Twitter, a person who lives in South Africa. And he says, guys, what's going on here? Check this out. At first, I thought that this was some sort of art piece or something like that. And I guess that most internet users also thought that too. Some internet users posted very interesting questions like, looks like it was placed there. We wouldn't be tweeting if it were a real meteor. And I have to agree. However, this is where things get strange. I actually searched for this all over the internet and I couldn't find much information on it besides the fact that no one knows to this moment if this is indeed a real meteor or not. There are speculations that this might actually be some sort of art piece taking into consideration that the crater that this object has doesn't make sense, but it's still unknown. What is really going on here? Is this really some sort of strange rock that appeared out of nowhere? Or is it maybe something else? What's your take? Well, this is it for now, but we do have more videos. Don't forget to check them out.
And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on for more videos like this. Also, if you'd like to send me strange videos, send it over to thatimpossiblechannel at gmail.com and I'll see you guys again.